church. Yes. I want you to hear what I'm saying. There is apostasy within God's church. But let me show you and say this, that those who receive the seal of God are in the midst of that apostasy and their sign and crime. We are told, we are told very clear in testimonies to ministers, page 45. We are told as God no living church, as God no what? Living church. God has a church. It is the church militant and not the church triumphant. You must understand what the woman of God is saying. That the church is in a militant state. What does militant mean? Fighting. Fighting. Yes. Anything that is in a militant state means they are at war. And then she says, we are sorry that they are defective members within the church. That they are tears amidst the wheat. So God church is commingled with wheat and tears. And I tell you that the separation only takes place at the Sunday law. I defy the man that tells me separation takes place before Sunday law. We can test, stay together, we are told in inspiration. The thing that separates them finally is the Sunday law. Last day events, 179, we are told clearly. The great issue so near at hand, the Sunday law, will weed out those apostates whom God has not appointed. Amen. And he will have a pure, sanctified ministry prepared for the latter reign. Amen. I defy the man that tells me I must leave the Seventh day Adventist church. Amen. This is God's remnant church. Amen. Friends, I will not remain silent. I will not remain silent in apostasy, neither will I remain silent when I'm called to speak anywhere else. Amen. This is God's church. I repeat, I defy the man that tells me to leave the Seventh day Adventist church. Yes, Selected Messages, Book 3, page 380. Mm. We are told that the church will appear as about to fall, but it does not fall, it remains, while the sinners in Zion will be sifted out. This is a terrible ordeal, but nevertheless, it must take place. Friends, read that quotation in its context. She's not saying that the church appears to fall in the past. It's in the context, Selected Messages, Book 2, page 380. She says, as the Sunday law comes to us, the church appears as about to fall. Now, which church is in a fallen apostate position? Babylon. So the church appears as about to become like Babylon as the Sunday laws come in. But it remains while sinners in Zion will be sifted out. Amen. I tell you that 99% of seven-day Adventists are leaving the church. 1% remain. I can prove that. That's Bible. That's spirit of prophecy. Amen. I tell you less than 1% of Adventists remain, while multitudes in Babylon are going to accept this message. Amen. Friends, I tell you, if you keep holding on to sin, within a few months you'll be shaken out this movement. Amen. I don't care what offshoot movement we might join. I don't care what ministry we might belong to. Why you could even join. Friends, let me say this. I tell even the people that study with us, you studying with us is no guarantee you're going into heaven. Absolutely. Your only guarantee is Jesus and the blood is shed for you on Calvary. We are loving, I tell you, friends, by the grace of God, we've got a few months or a few years left. We are told in early writings 119, I then saw the remnant that they were unprepared. Stupidity, like lethargy, seemed to hang upon the minds of those who profess to believe we have in the last message. My accompanying angel cried out with awful solemnity, Get ready, get ready, get ready. For the fierce anger of the Lord is soon to come and you are unprepared. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Oh, beloved, we don't have much time left. And I will not remain silent. I will call out apostasy within the church. And wherever you call me, I will defend the church as well. Amen. We are told that those who get the seal of God sing the song of Moses and the Lamb. Yes. When Moses saw the church in apostasy, worshipping a golden calf, he saw the church in deep apostasy. Amen. Why? He left. The church. God had just spoken the law. Yeah. And he came to the mountain and God said to Moses, Move aside, Moses. Yeah. I will destroy these apostates and make of you a great nation. Yeah. Moses said, Lord, if you do that, you might as well blot me out of your book. Yes. That's the spirit of the Lamb, friends. I tell you, those who get the seal of God are willing to lay down their lives even for apostates. Hey. 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 They're willing to defend apostates. Why in love? 